Good afternoon, folks. Look, we're up and running. So let me get everything switched over, and we will jump back into more Pokemon. What's up, Rira? How you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Oh, I see Mason's here too. Mason says, hi, I'm sorry I've been on in a bit. Had a job change, so everything's been different timing for me. Oh, no worries, Mason. You don't have to apologize. Like I tell everybody, you show up to the streams when you feel like it or you have time. If not, then it's all good. If you ever want to see what kind of shenanigans we get up to, that's what the archives are for, but... Other than that, no worries. Okay, so let's pick back up with our playthrough of Infinite Fusion. When we last left off, we were in Cerulean. And we've not fought Misty yet. So let's take a look at the, the Pokemon loadout. I did do a bit of grinding after the last stream. I didn't do a ton. But I did make an addition to the team. Hopefully today we'll be able to get some new entries that'll round out things a bit more. I think I'm going to drop Harry. Harry doesn't really have a type affinity that's going to help coming up. Mason says, I went back to tattooing people. Oh, cool. Yeah, I remember you mentioning working with tattoos before. That's pretty neat. That's a really impressive skill to have. So hopefully that's going well for you. Okay. So let's take a look at our, our list here. We've got... Portobello, and for folks who might not have seen the first episode, because I think this is the second one, of the playthrough for Infinite Fusion, we are doing an imposed challenge rule for this one, just to mix things up a little bit. I have to use only Pokemon that are either singular or double type containing bug. Bug types are my favorite. And so I have to... Whoop, I have to either catch or fuse Pokemon that have that typing there. Which is going to make things pretty challenging because I'll have to kind of work around whatever it is I'm fighting. And make sure that I've got enough types to cover myself. And so the first one here, Portobello, this is uh, Sunkern Paris. We picked this one up. At the end of the last playthrough, I fused this one. It's going to need to be leveled a bit to, to get through the fights in Misty's Gym, I think. I don't remember exactly what levels her team is at I think in the mid teens might be able to look at the trainers in the gym and see Portobello has ingrain stun spore absorb so this one's really geared towards grass type moves be nice if it gets something with more offensive power there we go. up and down next up we have Pennywise, this is our Mr. Mime Beedrill Fusion that ev did not evolve in the last playthrough to the third stage. I was grinding a little bit just to get some levels and see if I could get some bug types, and I did pick, pick up the evolution for this one. I have to say, based on the evolution before this, where it was the Mime Jr. in Beedrill, I don't like the final fusion for this one as much. It's okay, it doesn't look terrible. But the, the kind of weird spike head clown look from the former before, I liked a lot more. And so this one's Bug Fairy. And I think the second highest level of the entire team. Pennywise has Twin Needle, Psy Wave, Mimic, and Rage. So probably more Bug and maybe some more Fairy type moves are, are necessary to round this one out a bit. But this one's kind of all purpose. Because it's not bug poison, it, it functions decently well. 
If you run into any grass types, we can use Twin Needle. So that's Pennywise. Next up, we have the starter, who I got right at the beginning of the game. This was Zippo, who started as a Charmander Caterpie fusion. And Zippo evolved while I was grinding, too. It was the kind of winged butterfly, angry Charmander, and now it's the wingless, but still angry, Charmeleon fusion. And Zippo's the anchor. Zippo's the strongest in the team, being bug fire, being highest level. And he's got kind of a, a spread, too. I think Psybeam must have come from Butterfree. But we have Silverwind, which is a pretty decently strong bug-type move. Firefang, Ember, Psybeam. Decently functional. This one tends to, to sweep a lot of lower-level teams. I don't know how effective Zippo is going to be against Misty, though, because of the fire typing. So we have to shuffle teams around and, and see how we do. We can always put this one as sort of like a, a brute force anchor. Next up, another one that I picked up right at the end of my grinding session after the playthrough. What you'll notice if you take a look at my layout here for Fusion, what I'll do before I start the next session based on where we end or if I grind. I will update the Pokemans in the upper right corner with the sprites for whoever I'm going to be putting on the team at the start of the stream. I didn't put Morel on there because I, I picked up Morel right at the end. But based on where we end up today, for the next one, I'll update the chart again so people can see who I'm throwing in on the, on the team. But Morel came on the team primarily as a TM slash HM Pokemon. That's why Rock Smash is there. The skill typings are kind of all over the place. This one's uh, Paris and Sandshrew. So Bug Ground. Also, probably good to hold on to for Vermilion. I don't think this one's going to be too useful here in Cerulean. But we have Rock Smash, Oop. Roll Out, Rapid Spin, Poison Powder. We could probably fill out with some more ground type moves. Hopefully it'll pick up some later. And next up we have Harry. Harry is a Lediba and Beedrill fusion. This one came out of Viridian Forest based on some components I picked up there. Bug Poison and kind of bug type moves. This one, like I mentioned at the end of the last stream, I think is the weakest link. It does look cool. It's a pretty, pretty well-made sprite. I mean, it's a custom. But Bug Poison on its own is not really going to be that universally helpful. So I think as soon as I see something that's going to serve the team better, I'm probably going to swap out Harry. But for now, Harry can sit in here. This is the last one. Yep, then the last one. Another one of the, the heavy hitters on the team. This is Monkey. Monkey is a Beedrill Mankey fusion. And I like the look of this this custom drawn sprite. It's a little angry puffball with spear hands. Bug fighting. This one was a carry for Rock. Brock, rather. And as you'd expect, Monkey's got a mostly fighting moveset. And also Twin Needle for Bug type. Pretty strong. I'll probably be keeping this one on the, the team for a while. It's got pretty good offensive stats for, for just general attacking things. I probably want to avoid flying. I think flying is double, double effective against this one. But yeah, so that's the team. So I guess we can go and do a quick check at the gym and see what exactly we're looking at and how our team stacks up. Mason says, angry puffball with spear hands. Sounds like my cat. That's essentially what we've got here. Always angry, always ready to 
to claw things. All right. Yeah, water gym. Okay, I did do the trainer fights here. At least the first one. So let's see what we're looking at for levels. Starlet. 19. Okay. Might be a little bit under leveled. Typing is good, but. Oh, we might be alright here. Jesus. Seven. All right, we're good. Uh, that means Misty's are probably going to be around there. The trainers, I think, are usually a little bit lower. Okay, I think we're going to need to at least get two Pokemon decently higher in level. Otherwise, we're going to get stomped. Might be able to go in with these two. We wouldn't have type advantage. In fact, we have type disadvantage for Zippo. But it probably makes more sense to go Portobello and Zippo. We can go the route to the right of town and maybe do some, some grinding against the trainers there just to get experience. In fact, if I do experience share and then just put one of my higher level ones in the lead to sweep. That might be faster. I can't remember if the, the older versions of Pokemon had the ability to rematch trainers out in the wild. I think that's unique to either the later games or this one specifically. But it's nice that you can go and re rematch trainers out in the wild. Not in the gyms, I don't think. In fact, I can look since those are worth a decent amount of experience. These ones, I don't think you can, you can match again. Yeah. But the ones you encounter out in the wild on routes, some of them you can rematch. So we can go take a look. This is where I was running around trying to find components for fusions, and I think it was in the the tunnel. Yeah, not not that route. It was in one of the tunnels that I found Paris. Oh, that's right. Uh, okay, I might have to, to back out and do this again. Mason says, I love ice Pokemon or certain water Pokemon. My first was Piplup. Oh, nice. Piplup is Gen 3 or 4? I know a lot more about the older generations of Pokemon than the newer ones. But, like, the special rules dictate for this one. My favorite type are Bug. It's probably because Scyther's my favorite Pokemon. As soon as I get the chance to catch Scyther, you'll be seeing like a, an entire team of different Scyther fusions, most likely. Scyther and Pinsir, if I can get a Pinsir here. Alright. Although we have our rival. Uh, well, this is going to be tough. Let's, let's see how we do. It's Turbo Douche. Nidoto. Nidorino and Pidgeotto. That is a really bad matchup, I think, for this one. Who has confusion? Okay, let's, let's see if this will work against a poison type.
Okay, his his one's an 18, so probably around 20. for the poison. Okay, we'll bring in Zippo. We might have to sweep with, with Zippo, which I didn't really want to do. But we can funnel experience over to Portobello. That's good. Leech Seed. That's good. Uh, this is self-heal. This is leech, small percentage leech from target every turn. I'm gonna drop stun spore. Kinda wanna keep one of the, the ailment powders. Poison is probably better long term. I don't know, stun spore is good too. We'll drop stun spore, we'll go for damage. Two levels. Squirtsar. Squirtle Venus Arm, so that's gonna be water and I'm gonna assume grass. One of my bug types should be able to deal with that. Who is Twin Needle? That's a cool sprite. I like how the bulb is like a transparent bubble. 19. Yeah, we're, we're pretty under leveled across the board, I think. Yep, that's definitely water grass. Mason says, Alright, I'm going to bed. Have a good day and night. Please make sure to eat and stay hydrated. Alright, Mason, thanks for tuning in and stopping by. It was good to see you. Hope you have a good night, and I will catch you later. Next up, Mantata. Mankey and Rattata? Okay, so someone who's got Psychic. Well, didn't have Psychic anymore. Because you're dead. Hmm. Alright, just gonna try and sweep again. Fighting normal? Side beam should work. Abra, psychic type. It's gonna take me a few rounds to remember the, the skill loadouts of everybody you've got here. North, we, we go to Bill's Bill's house. We don't want to go north. There is a gauntlet of trainers. I guess we can go run that. That should be good experience for the team. Yeah, we'll do that since we're here, and then I'll see if I can rematch them. Assuming I've got a good enough team to get through it. This is the Nugget Bridge. Yep.
type disadvantage. The type advantage. I think we're going to have to be a little bit careful on the levels. I think Boulder Badge only keeps control up to 20 and then Cascade, or whatever the water one is. That one goes up to 25, I believe. Geo Ruz. Geodude Paris? What was that? Rock? Grass? I need a water type on here. fishing rod or something. Yep. Could be rock grass. I don't think it is. Yeah, it's fine. Ooh. Metabat. Metapod and Gol. Zubat? Not Golbat. Zubat? One thing I did, and I'll probably mention this at some point later in the playthrough as it comes up. Since I didn't do a ton of grinding off stream, since I didn't really want to do that before and just steamroll through everything. Because I wanted to play through more of Infinite Fusion, I started up a separate save file. And it's different character and different type challenge. So I started just a, a female character to switch things up. And I made the rule... For that one, that I choose the type rule restriction based on one of the starters I get. And the first starter I got was a Litwick Furret Fusion. So the typing for that playthrough is Ghost. And that's been pretty difficult. I think Bug and Ghost are two types that are pretty challenging. But one thing I did on the other playthrough is I made pretty much all of the Pokemon. And I think the... Primarily just the Pokemon randomized, so you can find fusions and things all over the place. And it's not locked to the normal Kanto distribution of spawns. I don't think I switched up the trainer Pokemon teams. You can randomize like everything, every aspect of this game was with a built-in feature. But that's been fun. I'm considerably farther in that playthrough than, than this one. But... I will try not to just make it sound like I've seen everything already. Since the experience is going to be different. One, because in this playthrough, all of the Pokemon and encounters are not randomized. So it's going to be more like the original version of the game. And it'll be a different experience than the, than the other save. to only have teleport. Pidro. Pidgey Spiro? Yeah, looks like it.
considerably higher level than people on the bridge here. Manish. Manky Oddish? He's a flying type too. Maybe. Uh, bug flying isn't super strong. Okay, that's not gonna do much. I'll have to see. I'll have to see what kind of things spawn. Double damage target that is switching out of battle. Eh, doesn't really synergize with much here. It'd be decent to have. I have this on a bunch of ghost types on my other playthrough. I uh, will drop pursuit. Good old attrition fight. I think we're still losing the DPS race on this one, even even with the leech. This is the one that needs to get leveled. Nice. Aww. Aww. Of course, it's gonna crit there. Hmm. Oh, that's no good. Meow, shrew. Meow, sand shrew. advantage for Portobello, I think. Grass type. Twenty. All right. I think I need to be careful. It was by level. Level Zippo higher than 20, I think it won't listen to me. Let's do a check against Misty. I think 15 is still too low. But we might be able to, to do alright if we lead. If we lead with our strongest. I don't remember off the top of my head what she uses. I think her, 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 her second... Her anchor for the team is like a 
grass water? Let's find out. Okay, start with Zippo. Portobello on deck. Jigweedine. Level 19. Alright. That's a bit of a problem, but I think we can... We can burn this one down faster as long as we don't get crit. Yeah. Or... If she does that. I should buy some supers. Mm. Raise relief. Okay, that's that's good. Hmm. Absorb is pretty low damage. We would need like Giga Drain or something later, I think. I'm gonna drop Absorb for Raise Relief just for damage. Odd you, so that's grass, water, grass water, I think. Twenty-two, yeah, I think we're kind of boned here. I think I would actually need to lead with. Portobello and then put one of the bug types because bug types like Twin Needle will work on the grass type, I think. So maybe I go Portobello and Monkey instead, level those two. We're gonna save Scum it. I don't want to deal with losing money. Zippo is. The strongest on the team, but that type disadvantage is a problem. At least for the first first fight, for sure. I don't remember what skills the odd you has. Probably has something water too. So I think we lead with Portobello and we bring Monkey in for the second one, which means we're gonna have to get more levels. Run through the bridge and then go north onto the next route, even though I won't go all the way up to Bill since I don't think we can do that till we, we beat Misty. But we should be able to get into a bunch of fights that'll get levels for the team, which is what matters right now. Poison and electric, I'm going to assume. Well, that's interesting. It's basically just the Volt Orb Sprite with a bunch of pores spitting out gas. Okay, 
try and clean up monkey here. I guess I should have just used toss. Yep. That did not go super well for my team. <laughs> hey, Ladybug's here. What's up, Ladybug? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a good Monday. Alright, let's see if I can steamroll some of these other trainers. We are continuing our journey through Pokemon Infinite Fusion, in which I can only use bug types and fuse bug types. And it's proven to be rather difficult, but it's fun. This game's, this game's really cool. Uh, okay, so that should be Fighting Poison, which should be Double Weakening and Psychic, hopefully. Yep. Ladybug says, yep, yep, how about y'all? I'm doing good. It's the start of the week. I get to hang out with you beautiful people on stream. Hey, there's my nugget. And a rocket grunt, of course. Goodbye, poison type. Oh boy, Cough Bat looks like it's having a really bad day. Okay. Let's go back and heal, and then we'll keep going north. to try and get some levels. We're here in Cerulean, trying to level balance our team to fight Misty. She's sitting right at around 20. I think her, her anchor is 22. So if I can get Portobello and Monkey to 20, I think they'll be all right. I guess we'd see what kind of things spawn here. I don't remember because I haven't been up here before. And also, when I was doing my offline run, all the encounters in the grass are randomized as well. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Basically everything I encountered in that playthrough is gonna be different here. My flying types are just trouble for my entire team because of the bug typing. Hey, first time chat and a follow from the man who speaks in hands 101. First off, welcome to the stream and thank you for the follow. Very kind of you. Hope you enjoy your stay amongst the space bees. We are doing a bug type only run through Pokemon Infinite Fusion. And like I was telling Ladybug, it has gone moderately well. It's definitely challenging. Fury Cutter. Uh, is that bug type move? It is. Okay. Hmm. Offensive skills are good. If it hits succession. Hmm. I'm going to drop ingrain we'll see if that bites me later uh, man who speaks in hands maybe I'll call you the man for short 
Do you have a Game Boy Advance emulator? If so, I dare you to play Pokemon too many types. I do have a means to play advanced games. I think BizHawk will play advanced games. Pokemon too many types. Is that a, a fan-made ROM hack? My guess from the title is that they have introduced new types into the game. Is it new types and custom Pokemon, or is it just like re reorganize everything? Sounds interesting. I've never heard of it, but it sounds interesting. Made by Alpha Red. Oh, okay. I may have to look that up later. Alright, we'll switch you out. Now what we're seeing here is my first attempt to play through Infinite Fusion. I know I'm behind the curve on that, but I am quite enjoying it. It has been difficult with the bug type rule. But we're making progress. If I can get through the SS and today, I'll consider that decent progress. See, can I rematch you? Sure. Ah, oh, man says... Too many types includes tri-type Pokemon, 100 plus new moves, and 50 plus new types. Wow. That's nuts. Well, how do they handle weaknesses for tri-types? Tri Seems like you'd have to like rebalance the entire game, and like I'm assuming, with the addition of new types, it redefines the typing for all the mons that currently exist. If there's no new ones, it seems like a nightmare to try and manage. I'm I'm having trouble keeping track of all the ones in the game proper since I don't really play a lot of Pokemon. But I'll definitely have all of the typing stuff down by the time I finish doing playthroughs of this. Oh, okay, so too many types is specifically for the Emerald version. Cool. I think it's pretty neat how the community does these like fan-made in independent projects to sort of change up the formula or make things difficult. I was playing through Pokemon Uranium like a year and a half ago when I first started streaming. That one was really difficult. I didn't end up beating that one. I got kind of kind of bored and stonewalled in the middle of the game. Uh-oh. That one knows Hyper Fang. Hmm. See who else is on the route. They have something that's better experience. Okay, we'll keep going on the route. See how we do against the, the next few trainers. We need strength. I think we need strength to move that. Kelsey Nidoran. Yeah, 
and everyone here on the routes at roughly the same level as the rest of my team. I guess this is kind of like a good spot to grind. Another Nidoran. Okay. Psychic sweep. Oh, that, that's right. Okay, that one's a male and female Nidoran fusion, which makes it two-tone. That's a really cool custom sprite. Very simple. All it does is pretty much just take the, the main model of the male Nidoran and make half of it like the female color. That's neat. I like that. One thing we'll be doing on Wednesday of this week, I believe. I'm going to look at my schedule. But... When I do this week's art stream, I'm going to be working on sprites for this game specifically. I've got I've got to come up with a couple that I want to do, but basically I'm going to be working on drawing sprites for Infinite Fusion because I want to apply for a spriter role so I can put some custom ones in the game. The end goal is to get some of my bug types that I'm using for the playthrough into one of the future updates of the game, the ones that don't have current custom sprites. So that, we're probably going to work on one for Portobello in our team first. Since I've technically already drawn one for its evolved form later. And then I realize there's a whole application and vetting process on the Discord you got to go through in order to add stuff to the game. So that's a sneak peek for what we're looking at on Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. I will be doing some sprite, sprite drawing on stream. So that'll be fun. Yeah, it's a hiker. Those usually have rock or ground types. So we're going to go heal. We'll put our mushroom back in the lead. Another thing, I didn't talk about this last stream since I was still kind of learning stuff in the game and, and learning about different kind of aspects of Infinite Fusion. One thing I figured out in my other playthrough, since it's farther, when I'm out there catching stuff in the wild, I don't necessarily have to be on the lookout for fusions. In fact, I only really need to be looking out for any sort of type that meets my rule restriction here. If I wasn't doing rules, it'd be completely fair game for everything. But for this one, I don't think this was what I caught. I think it might have just been a regular Paris. But if I'm out there in the wild and I see a fusion for, like, let's say it's a pincer tentacle fusion or something like that, that I see in the wild. One thing you can do with the DNA splicer tools is you can take an existing fusion and you can split it back into its components. You can unfuse them. And what that means is, as I go through the game, if I see a type or a component on something else, and it's a fusion, and I can catch it, unfuse them, and then even break apart one of my existing fusions and refuse them with a different component. So we're not hard locked into any of these. I will most likely keep Zippo fused the way it is, just because it's my starter for now. But as I find other bug types, like I don't want to go through the entire game with Beedrill Fusions. Monkey, I like Monkey's combination, so I'll probably keep that one the same. Portobello's fine for now, I think. This one will serve as a grass type, but if I find something that's a bug type that pairs better with a Psychic moveset-wise, then I can always unfuse Pennywise and then refuse it again. And so there's a lot of flexibility and creativity in Infinite Fusion. That's what I like about it. I think that makes it really fun and really replayable. 
So we'll just have to see. What we encounter in the grass and in the dungeons and see how it factors into our overall team composition. all experience. In fact, this would be a good rematch since Portobello's typing is probably going to be strong against this guy's entire team. In fact, maybe we'll, we'll run that instead of running too far ahead. Is it Oops All Geodudes? Chop. Pikachu, my chop. So I think we've got the electric type advantage. Well, maybe not. Maybe electric isn't weak to grass. Still decent damage, though. Definitely farm three of these four fights. doesn't kick on every time, I guess. Worry Seed? It's Worry Seed. Okay, this prevents someone else from being able to sleep. That seems like a really situational ability. If you're fighting something that, that does rest a lot, nah, that doesn't seem too useful. Okay, for Pikachu, no psychic. See, there's another hiker over there. Probably has a similar loadout. Now let's do this. Monkey doesn't need levels. Let's we'll see what this kid's got. Dan. Papoke. Paris. Slowpoke. I'm gonna assume that's bug psychic, maybe? Bug water? Bug psychic, I think.
Poly row. Poly. Polywag and Firo? Or Spiro, rather. That must be water flying or water normal. No, that's not bad. I don't know if that, that, that's probably a custom sprite. I like its expression. Okay, that must be, yeah, water flying. on Monkey. Like I mentioned before, we get to around 20, I think we're okay. That's what I'm shooting for. Or we could, we could do a check against Misty. I, I don't want to be needlessly grinding, because I know that's not the most interesting thing to watch. Well, we'll give it another try. We're gonna lead with Monkey. Actually, no, we're gonna lead with Portobello. And Monkey will be on backup for the second one. That was my phone going off. I don't know if it picked up on the mic. But random telemarketers keep calling me. That's not an inconsequential amount of healing. And that was enough. Okay. Let's see how much we can burn down on you. Uh, oh, it's probably good we got Fury Cutter. Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. If that hadn't happened, I might have been able to actually do some damage. to be in. We could... Actually, she's going to do that. Yeah. I was going to say, we could timer scan by just waiting out the poison. But, since we're both back to 100... Just don't confuse me again. Now I got a bank that I'm not going to get crit and poison should kill it. Or Mega Drain, that works. Barely. Barely by the skin of my teeth. Win's a win, we'll take it. Oh, it's 30. So maybe Brock is 25? Well, either way, we're good now. Nice. OK. 
Okay, I'm gonna take the experience share. I'm gonna put it on Morel. And the reason for that is, unless we find something better, I want Morel to have some more levels so I can use that one in Vermilion. It's gonna be a bit until we get to Surge in Vermilion. But we might as well get that one some experience. Where is it? There we go. Okay, we took down Misty. That's what's most important right now. I think I'm going to drop Harry into the into storage for now. Harry is pretty much just taking up a slot. Alright, we can take a look at Let's see what else is in there. I kind of forgot what I, I've caught. So we have Tyrogue for fighting. We have a, a regular oh this is the Weedle, Caterpie Fusion, and Poison. So we really need to catch some other types. Preferably something bug type, but really anything. Maybe I should gear up and get some equipment. Some balls, some splicers. I could sell Stardust. It sells for one cage, yep. I could sell the nugget. Fusion balls here. Uh, 16k. Okay, we can, we can afford that. How many Pokeballs we have. All right. Some supers. Some antidotes. Probably gonna need paralyzed heal at some point. Then I'm just gonna buy a whole stack of splicers. There we go. Now we're geared up. Okay, so we wanna head north along the route, take out some more trainers, get to Bill. Before we do that, I'm gonna go get something to drink real quick. So let me pause here for one sec. I'll let the, the game run so it's not dead silent. I'll be back in one sec.
All right. All right, for the delay, and my water. And now we can continue. We're headed north. Another hiker. Uh, I can keep Monkey on. If it's like a rock type, we can use fighting moves. It's not a rock type. Geoans. Geodude Ekans. Oh, look at that one. That lad's ready to fight. I like that sprite. It's fun. Oh, this should be neutral because of the poison. in here and get more levels. Camper. Oh, Flint. Venoans. Bug. Poison? That's probably neutral. Oh no. Maybe it's double poison? It's also a pretty cool sprite for Venoshrew. Okay, there's a whole lot more. Hey, Snake's here. We got a Hydrate from Naked Snake. Snake says, hey, B-Man, how's it going? I miss when Razor Leaf felt powerful. Well, it'll have to do in a pinch here since it's all I got. Are there any poison? Oh, we'll save him. Anyway, answer your question. I'm doing good, Snake. How are you? We are making progress in inf Infinite Fusion. Just beat Misty. Barely. And we're currently headed north on this route. 25... To see Bill. But I'm gonna run back and heal. I'm probably gonna. Yep, there he goes. So 
Pennywise is... Yeah, I remember the genders of all my Pokemon. I can't remember if you were here last time, Snake. But uh, if you were here last time, then you know the, the challenge rules and why we're doing this with bug types. But... It has been fun. Just difficult. That's kind of the point. Snake says, to be honest, I didn't think I would like playing Sentinel, but since they added the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 version, it's a lot lighter, but it's more of a glass cannon, which I like. So do they add in MVC2 Sentinel as a different character, or is it like an alternate version you swap in for a regular MVC3 Sentinel? Because the overall strategy from people playing high-level Sentinel in MVC2 was a bit different than how they play the character in 3. But he was decently strong. Lots of rocket punches. They're talking about mods and, and the, like the community-based stuff they're adding to MVC. MVC UMBC3. The character I would like to see them add is Blackheart. Like a, a retooled, redesigned Blackheart would be really cool. He was on my main team in MVC2. I think they could take... They could take him and make him like a really interesting trap and zoner based character. I'd like to see that. Oh, I could. Uh, this is grass poison, right? I don't think bug would work here. Snake says, I'm sorry, you say you want a black heart back of all characters? Why does nobody care about Jin or Gambit? Aren't they already putting Jin and Gambit into the game? I thought they were being modded in already. I thought I saw some work in progress stuff for Jin. And I'm I'm pretty sure Gambit is on the, the roster to be added soon. Because I remember seeing, I think Max did a, a spotlight on Gambit. Oh, sorry, that was you, Lava King. Why does no one care about Jin or Gambit? My, my bad. You and Snake have the same color name. Sorry. Yeah, I think Jin and, Jin and Gambit are already on the list to be added into you, UMBC3. Uh, Snake could... Yeah, Snake could tell you. You guys have the same color name, so sorry. I get you mixed up. Jin and Gambit are already in, per Snake, on confirmation. Um, so yeah, my opinion on uh, Blackheart. I don't think he's probably high on the list of characters added. I don't think he was popular. But I think if they retooled his move set to make him like a zoner and trap character, it'd be a lot of fun. Ooh, magnitude. I thought magnitude. Ah, rapid spin. Touch that. Yeah, as I know, uh, Lava King. I know Snake's been keeping up on the mod scene for Marvel, so he he could tell you if a character you're looking for has been in the game. Cable, I wouldn't be surprised if Cable is on, on the list too, since he was really popular in MVC2. Audris. Oddish Paris? Oh, yep. You're gonna get lit on fire. Good night. Love King says, only played Marvel 2 on iOS. I don't know how many systems Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is released on now, but I think you can... you might be able to get it still. It's a really fun game. One of the classics. Snake says, that's great when you hit Monster Hunter's level 3, it's placed the Monster Hunter theme during the cutscene. Oh, Proof of a Hero? Nice. Oh, MVC2 was removed. If you use something like PC, PCX2 or whatever, whatever I use for PlayStation, you had a PlayStation ROM, you could probably emulate it. My attention is definitely on Marvel's Capcom 3 with all the mods that Snake's been talking about. I don't know when I'm going to get to it, but we'll, we'll look at it on stream eventually. 
because I want to play that again. Alright, let's get rid of that. I'll probably need to use Pennywise again. Ball Batata. So I'm going to assume grass normal. Maybe not. Drowens. That would be... Drowsy and Ekans, so Psychic Poison? Wouldn't that make bug types even? Oh, wow. I wonder if that's a custom sprite. It looks, it looks too cleanly put together for it to not be a custom drawn sprite. It's kind of goofy, but I think it works. Yeah, it's not good. Okay. Next, for the camper. It's Wayne. Oddnix. Now, that's a cool sprite. That's also a custom drawn sprite. I, I like the expression. The expression is great. I just. Mm. No, sir, I don't like it. Uh, that's gonna be. Grass rock? Grass rock? Yeah. Snake says they also have Venom, Carnage, Iceman. Still need to play them. I haven't installed. Have them installed, just haven't played them yet. I remember Iceman from. What was it? NBC 1 or X Men vs. Street Fighter? I don't think... Was Iceman in... I, maybe he was in NBC2. It's been a, forever since I've played that one. says Iceman was in two as well as Anacharis and Classic Jill. I'm sure they're gonna mod in Classic Jill if they haven't already for MVC3. The the zombie summons. I remember Anacharis. Anacharis was fun. He had a lot of charge moves. But he was really kind of weird and floaty. Just all the Dark Stalkers characters. They should just do all of them. I think uh, John Talbane was part of the development. Is he done, Snake? That's probably what character I'd pick up first. He was my main in one of the Dark Stalkers. Mr. Martial Arts Werewolf Man. How horrifying. Is that a, a ride on? Speaking of teleporter accidents, where did the ride on go? SS ticket. Snake says they haven't added Jill, but they have added classic Chris and Wesker and his son Jake and Hunk. 
That's cool. I wonder if someone is going to make a Lady Dimitrescu. I'm sure people wouldn't complain. I don't know how she would play, but... Lava King says, Dimitri was in Capcom versus SNK, but not Marvel. Yeah, Dimitri hasn't been in any of the, the recent games. If you ask me, I think if they were going to include Darkstalkers characters, they should include some of the, the less well-known ones that haven't had a chance to be in a game yet. I think they could add uh, Rikuo, the fish guy. The strangely attractive fish man. They could do Victor. Uh, Victor hasn't shown up outside a Darkstalkers game before. Some people were saying they wanted Pyron in there, the kind of boss of Darkstalkers. I think that wouldn't be as interesting. Lord Raptor has been in other games, but not a versus one, I don't think. Like he might have been in Cross Zone or one of those other ones. He hasn't shown up in a fighting game outside of Darkstalkers either. Yeah, he's pretty a fun, wacky guy. Oh yeah, BB Hood. BB Hood was in NBC too. Boletta. Okay, let's keep heading down the route. We're heading towards Vermilion. This is the tag spot, isn't it? I don't think I've been down here yet. Bob the Kings, I said, let's forget forget about the talking sushi. Let's go all in on Sasquatch. Oh, Huitzel would be another cool one that I think they could add. Quetzal or Phobos, depending on which version of Darkstalkers you're playing. The big kind of uh, robot that was modeled after the Arahabaki. What is it? Spirit? Whatever it is. But he's like a big uh, like robot. Big floating robot. Oh, this isn't the route I was thinking of. <laughs> Lava King says Lord Raptor is life. He's so goofy. He's cool. Grip? I don't have seen that before. Mag Kid. Magic Harp. Elep Kid? Oh no, that's a uh, Ma Mag D and Elep Kid. Huh, well, hmm. I think grass is going to work on that one. Yeah. Ooh. Well, now. Another Togepi. Yeah, if we're talking about other fighting game characters to add to like a Marvel vs. Capcom type thing on the Capcom side. Snake, do you know if they're working on any Rival Schools characters? I kind of feel like I read something that said they were going to put some of the, the cast in there. I don't know Rival Schools too well, but I did play it back on Dreamcast. A friend of mine had it. Do I need to give you something? Okay, I have an egg now. They added Sakura. Yeah, she's been in a bunch of games, though. I'm talking about um, some of the other cast of Rival Schools. I just don't remember their names. I think one guy's name was Daigo. I think uh, Akira, the lady with the motorcycle outfit. She was added to... 
one of the SNK games, I think. A lot of fighting games out there. Uh, let's see. I'll switch you over here. Lovkin says, I remember him from Marvel School, the Joe Totoro looking guy. Yeah, the guy in the kind of school outfit, that's that's what I'm thinking of. I think he's the main character. I don't think we're ever going to see another Rival Schools game. Psyphix, Psyduck, Vulpix, okay. Mm, bug? No. It's weak because of the fire type. Oh, this is probably water, water fire, not psychic fire. Lava King says Capcom made too many fighting games to support. Yeah, that, you're not wrong. I think when people talk about the like Marvel vs. Capcom Dream roster and all that, there's a lot more Capcom characters that people potentially want to see in a game versus Marvel characters. Like, there's a lot of Marvel characters, sure, but as far as ones you'd want to see like, in a fighting game, I think the Capcom library is probably something people want to see more. I don't know, for, for Marvel outside of, like, Sp Spider-Man universe and, like, the X-Men universe, I think there's a lot more, like, niche niche ideas that people would want to see brought in. You can bring Spiral back. Spiral is pretty cool. Yeah. I'm going to poke around in the grass here and see if there's any bug types I can grab. Yeah, Snake, did you mean uh, Azura from Azura's Wrath? Mr. Angry Punch Man. I did see that they added him. How does he play? I'm assuming Brawler, like close range Brawler. Uh, encore. Uh, nah, I can use Mimic for that. Eh. Encore seems also kind of gimmicky. There's only five of it. That's fine. What else? Bug types. These were all set spawns from the original game. They're not changed since I didn't randomize my playthrough here. So if someone who really knows the, the routes can tell me when I'm going to expect to be able to encounter bug types next, then that would be good to know. Then I don't have to worry about just farming here. Yeah. Special, X special attack. It's all sorts of random garbage people have dropped. This is the, the spot with the tag teams. Okay, we'll save here. Maybe we'll get something good from the egg. We'll just leave it there and see what it hatches into. A Pikachu? Hmm. I don't have an electric type. Right? Yeah, I don't have an electric type at all. Alright. 
Can I hit Pikachu without killing it in one hit, though? says and we got a hydrate from snake all right nice okay pikachu what we're gonna call small electric rat won't you folks suggest a name since we haven't caught anything in a bit Snake says Agumon. Okay, we could do that. I don't really get why, other than to anger Wazi, which is fine. She's never going to watch this playthrough. Alright, we can do Agumon. We've got a route for Electro types now. That's That's good. Okay, 16 for Morel. That free. Oh, that's a nice sprite. Pretty simple. So that's going to be Fairy Bug. for fire, I guess. Critical, so maybe this one's not bug type. Maybe it's fairy flying or, fl or fairy poison. Eight twenty one. Scary face. Speed down and. Let's go back and heal. I'm gonna run through the tag tag encounters here. I don't think there's much else here to be caught. So we will just keep working on making progress. We get to Vermilion. Go to the SS and might actually be able to get to the gym fight today. Be a lot of trainer battles. Alright. 
I don't remember what these two have. Pika Poke and Pika Duck. That's quite the combination. Pika Duck. Or Pika Poke just has a terrible existential crisis expression on its face. It's great. I'm going to assume it's water. Some water electric. Let's see if I'm right. We can drop poison powder. Fury cutter? Yeah, we'll drop rollout for funny. Fury cutter, get a bug type attack. Lots of flying types, that could be a problem. That effect spore ability is pretty useful though. Oh yeah. Spore bellum. Flying or water normal, we don't want to do that. Let's try to take out. I think the spirit is the more dangerous one. I don't need it wiping my team with aerial ace. Sandshrew Pigeon. Okay, not bad. I don't think I'm going to be able to avoid fighting these two. Nope. Vermilion City Gatekeepers. Seconds. Okay, now we'll keep you in. We can get psychic. Oh, that's a fun sprite. Pretty silly. 
but well drawn. I think that's my favorite part of playing Infinite Fusion, is just seeing all the wacky sprites. And there's some really cool ones, too. Okay. Jeff. types. Flying types are a real problem. Oh, I probably wanted to not use that. Oh, no, it's neutral. Okay. Oddicate. Oddish and Radicate. So bug should work here. Assuming that's grass. Normal? That's not good. Wow, okay, that works. Sweet. All right, we made it to Vermilion. I'm gonna check the route. I think there's a route to the right. I want to say it might be where the the tunnel is. Let's go look for bugs. Fossils here. I know we could get another potential fossil. Is that here? Because we can get Anorith at some point. Isn't that uh, that dude's on the SSN? I think. All right, we'll we'll look at the cave later. Let's see what's out here in the route. Drowsy. We've already got a psychic type for now. What else? Okay, Ekans. You know, one thing I could do... I have to think about whether or not it, it's considered cheating, but I believe there's a, an ability to change the randomizer mid-game. I think it's a, an NPC they put into the Poké Centers, and you can turn on the randomization for like spawns. You can turn it on and off at will. I think I could do that to sort of give myself a little bit of a break because right now the spawns in the wild are just set as wherever they're on the regular game. So I'm kind of playing a bit of a, a dice roll when it comes to whether or not I'm going to get any bugs. If I randomize them, it adds in fusions. So you can encounter different fusions from all over the game in the wild. Which might make it easier for me to find something that has bug typing. Which would make the playthrough more interesting. It also means the spawns we get would be a lot more varied.
so that might be one thing to consider. Just because I'd like to be able to diversify my team, but right now I my choices for bugs are pretty much the spawns at the beginning of the game, like Beedrill or Butterfree, or Letty Bun, Letty N, or Paris at this point. That's pretty much it. I know there's not a ton of bugs in the game proper across the different gens. But it would be nice if we had some more options to create some fusions. I'll see if that NPC is at the, the Poké Center and if I have that option. Because I think it just takes all of the, the statistical roles and it just jumbles them up in kind of like one real-time thing. Those are Grass Psychic, I think. I don't know, that, that would be, like, Psychic Ground, maybe? I don't know. All right, let's head back and see. And we can do kind of like a quick save and just see if we can adjust the spawns. I think that'll make the playthrough more interesting. see status oh I guess this the egg watch it'll give us an update as we go I suppose update man randomizer okay Lock you out of certain events and rewards. Uh, that should be fine. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have to turn it on. All right. So right now, all these are off. So NPC trainers, we won't worry about that for now. Gym trainers, we won't worry about that for now. Same with items. Really only want it for Pokemon. So randomness degree could go. I, I have no idea how, how much this affects things. Globally, so this, I think this goes and shuffles everything across the entire game. Fuse everything in starters, include only Pokemon with a custom sprite. Uh, I don't think we want that. Static encounters. Randomized Pokemon that appear in the overworld, that's primarily what we want. And then fuse everything, include fuse Pokemon in the randomized Pokemon. Yeah, okay. I think that's pretty much all I need. I gotta change this. I could change it back, I think, just turn it off. I wonder if it reverts. So what this is doing is this is basically just reshuffling everything. So really, even though I'm, I'm not going to probably do it in this play playthrough session today, all of the previous routes we've been on should have new drops. So what we can do is we can check the route above Vermilion and then the route directly to the right. And just see what happens. So we'll, we'll go take a look before I save. I, I don't think there's a high risk that's going to screw my game up. But let's take a look. So we should be able to see new things here in the grass. Yep. That's a Dratung. A Dratini Lickitung. 
right away. That is absolutely something new. So we could even unfuse this one and get a dragon type right now, which would be fantastic. Uh, I don't think I'll one shot with Psywave. Nope, I'm close. It's also a pretty well drawn custom sprite. This one I'm not gonna bother nicknaming because I'm just gonna break it apart into components and then I'll determine a nickname for whatever I end up fusing with it. It's fine. Okay, let's see what else is here in the grass. Bug type. A vibra hoot? Vibra. Uh, is that Vibra, Vibrava, Vibrava? Hold on. I think that's what it's called. It's the one that turns into Flygon, I think. That is a bug. So if we pull this one and grab this one for the, the team, we should be able to get another dr bug type. Yeah, Vibrava, okay. I can actually look up. I can actually look up using this pretty cool fusion calculating tool and see what fusions look like too. So if there's something I want to gun towards that looks really neat, I can essentially look up different combinations before and see what I want to gear towards fusion-wise. Uh-oh. Okay, I definitely want this one. Fire Bravo should be bug flying. Oh no. Brown dragon, ah. Uh, I always thought that one was a bug. Well, that does not help me at all. I guess we could catch it. Might be able to take the components and make something cool later. flying so I think that gives us a normal type and a ground flying type we split them apart so I don't really know how that that translates maybe we'd, we'd be fusing a ground bug don't know but we'll keep it as fusion component fodder cotton puff that one called? Cotton something? I don't know the later gens quite as well. Cottony, yeah. Okay. Cottony's fairy? Or grass? Grass fairy. Okay. Alright, well. Again, we're getting some interesting results. Nothing I can immediately use, but it gives us more options. So we will catching stuff. start. 
So let's look at our team. We know we're going to be going up against electric types and vermilion eventually. So our ground type will be good. I think Portobello should be okay. We get two or three against Surge, I can't remember. So who would be a potential candidate to swap out? Oh, it's these two. It might come down to like these two is point leads. Okay. Uh, let's go check the route to the right and see what the spawns look like. Now that we've shuffled, there should be brand, brand new fusions and, and the like here. Like a Mabas? That's a Machop and a Phoebus. Okay. Do need a water type eventually. Fusion balls. Fighting water. Okay. That's not bad. Snub chop, snubble, and my chop. new types. Cotton known. That's a cotton and an unknown. That's going to be really weak against bug. Not seeing any bug types here. Energy, yeah. Okay, I can see what's in the tunnel. We didn't actually run around in here, so I don't know what the spawns were like before. But we can see if there's any bugs in here. Ooh, an Igly Dumb, Igly, Igly Buff, and Bell Dumb. That could be useful. Assume that's very steel. Yep. Or maybe very psychic. Okay, I'll try and get one of those. A bug steel type would be good. by the poison. Yep. Hmm. Is that the only thing that's going to spawn down here? Quite possible.
That might be enough, though. Nope. Fine. Uh, I can try my regular Pokeballs, I guess. Let's see if I get lucky. I guess I could Leech Seed it. That'll give me a couple turns its life gets siphoned a little bit lower. Eventually it's gonna die though. Especially if that happens. Well. Okay. I do want that steel type though. We'll, we'll give it another, another couple tries. I don't want to waste every single resource I have here. Swipes. Nah, we got Fury Cutter. Alright, I guess this looks like the only thing that spawns down here. my balls. Guess I'm gonna have to switch to great balls at some point.
Oh, come on. one. Right, I'll save my premiere. All right. We'll leave this particular spot for now. Mostly wanted to see if there's any bugs there. There are not. So let's go heal. We'll take a look at our options for things to make. How much money do I have? I have to go stock up on balls. 12k? Alright. Not a ton, but... You can also run through SSN. There's a ton of trainer fights in there, which makes some meal, some more money back. Okay, so we have picked up a ground flying type, ground f grass fairy, fighting water. Probably the best one here, dragon normal. So I'm going to split this one apart. Now, if we look at our options here, I don't think I want to go and try and fuse it with one of these lower level bug types. Seems like a waste. So our only other real options are one of the Beedrill fusions we've got now, or a Paris fusion. Bug Psychic, our Bug Psychic with Pennywise is currently doing okay. Pretty strong member of the team. Let's take a look. So I'm not going to really mess around with Zippo. I think the rule of keeping the starter the same for the majority of the game, I think we'll hold here. Portobello. Let me look up and see. For typing just so I don't I don't make a mistake typing on electric and grass because if this one doesn't have an innate advantage against surge then it's not really gonna help that much grass type advantage Grass is two times effective against ground rock water on defense. Electric, I think, is not strong against grass. But the reverse is not true, it looks like. So I'm reading this wrong. Yeah, okay, that, that's not really going to help, then. What about Dragon? Dragon, is Dragon resistant to electric types? Electric is half effective against dragon types. Dragon doesn't have an advantage against anything except dragon. Yeah, I remember that. So if we make a dragon bug type, 
it should be resistant to any of Surge's types, I think. Really, Grass or Grass or Dragon or Ground, I think, is our, our best bet. Hmm. What's going to have more legs long term? Because we could split these two and fuse the Paris with the Dratini. Or we could split these two and, and fuse the Paris with Dratini. Okay, it's going to yield the same result. Uh, I think I'm going to swap out grass for now. Go bug dragon. I wonder what that does to the stats, though. So we'll find out. I'm gonna probably save so I don't irreparably screw up my lineup. Okay, let's drop you in here. Could always read. Redo to reload the save, I suppose, if I if I don't like the results. So we're gonna go Paris, Tratini. What do the results look like? Check the the calculator. So the Bug Dragon, Paris Head, Dratini Body. Oh, that's not bad. In fact, that's a custom sprite, too. It'll look better than the one we've got now. What about... Uh, I wonder what it does to the level, too. This thing's level 20 now. I, I guess we'll find out. I can always reload my save. So now we fuse you. This is something else I learned about in doing my offline playthrough. You can do all of these functions within the box, which is a really good idea. Okay, okay, we get level 18. Uh, that's not a significant hit overall. That's fine. real question is how does this one evolve I and mean, how, how does it look so I think it, Paris is probably going to evolve first so if we said Paris sect head Dratini body woof well that one that one doesn't look great it looks sincerely worse than, than this one which looks pretty good uh, let's see what about Dragonair? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that, that looks fine. So the final, Parasect and Dragonite. If we take this one all the way down. Okay, it's it's basically a Dragonite wearing a, a big mushroom hat and has the soulless Parasite eyes and a mushroom on the tail. That's fine. There's a couple somewhat more cursed alts on this one too that people have made okay yeah that's fine I'm not really doing this purely based on aesthetics but I'm curious to see how these evolve okay bug dragon uh, we'll go status heal bashful nature Now for attacks, I think we can drop wrap. Wrap is pretty pretty weak. We can drop leer. Absorb. 
Hmm. I don't really need any bug type attacks. Oh, I don't need both Thunder Wave and Stun Spore. Oh, we'll drop Stun Spore. I think Thunder Wave is more accurate. Fury Cutter. We'll take Fury Cutter instead of Absorb. in the music. Oh, there it goes. Okay, let's put that one back in the party. We'll take a look. Might need to tinker around with the move set a little, but I think I think this one's gonna work. I'll just rename this one. Name this one Chantrell. Like the mushroom. Oh, all right, fine. All right. So for our potential lineup for the gym, again, I can't remember if it's two or three. We're not there yet. We gotta do the, the ship first, but I'm thinking. Morel and Chantrell, the two, the two mushroom names. These two will go. And I'm going to take your XP share. I'm going to give it to you for now. I'm going to put you in the lead. Maybe try and get close to 25. I, I don't remember exactly how strong the, the trainers are in the gym but by the time we do the entirety of the ship and then open the gym up we should be pretty competitive with the levels Now we can wander around the ship and battle people. Thomas. Meowlith. Normal fire, I'm gonna assume. through. I need to get a water type on the team. Ow, jeez. Alright. I think I almost took out half my team. I could take this out of my list too and maybe swap it in when I get like a bike or something. I can't remember if the the egg hatching is tied to just straight steps taken. Eh, I guess it's not a big deal for now. I just don't know what's going to come out of this. Okay. 
keep running through some more fights until I lose more of my team, then I'll go heal. This is essentially the grinding portion before we head to the next gym. But we also need money, since we just burned all of our balls trying to catch things in the tunnel. Arthur, find another fire type? That's a problem. Growlin, Growlith, Nidoran. Anything that's good against fire? I don't think so. Versus my entire team because of the bug typing is weak against fire. Incredibly weak against fire, in fact. That's fine. That's fine. All right, let's go heal before we move on to the next room. fossils. We have one. I think we'll get another one on the ship. That one's going to be Water Bug. Which... If we get the Anorith one. Which I think is going to be useful. The other one is... Rock Grass? Bug Grass? Bug Rock? I don't remember. Oh, I didn't know you could get challenged two at once. Huh. That's good to know. I don't think I've ever seen that happen in this game so far. That's the wrong target. Uh-oh. The monkey's down. Um, hmm. Oh, Swift of Pimbo. Okay. okay. Psychic type advantage. This should kill.
Goloto. So that's Goldeen Pidgeotto, I'm gonna assume. at the same time. Steel electric. Yep. That works. save then keep plugging away there's two floors two floors and a bunch of rooms and there'll be a rival fight I mean mistake of forgetting that there's a rival fight right before you go up see the captain and that could have been bad plugging through the fights. One second. Let's respond to something. Hey, Iconic's here. What's up, Iconic? How are you doing this afternoon? in there we're just in here yeah Cox says I'm well thanks how are you oh, I'm doing good this playthrough has been challenging thanks to the the self-imposed challenge rules turns out bug types are weak against a lot of things but it's been fun I'm really enjoying fusion Say. Kong says bugs are hard. Yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect this to be a, a cakewalk, but that's okay. It's yielded some interesting results. I'll, I'll kind of 
show off what I've updated with my team since the first session. pull up the list. Right now we've got an egg taking up some space in here. I guess I'll, I'll just be here for a while. We've got Bug Fairy. This one was evolved from the first play th first session, rather. This one's Pennywise has done pretty well. This one has, has served the team pretty well with its psychic abilities. Pretty, pretty strong. Mimic and Rage. I'll probably want to swap out for more potent attacks later if I get them. Monkey, another one from the first session. Bug Fighting. We saw this one towards the end. It's got mostly fighting and some bug, one bug technique. I will say though, the evolved form of Mr. Mime and Beedrill does not look as fun as the, the Mime Jr. and Beedrill with the little, like, clown outfit and the, the stinger on the head. It's not bad, but I like the, the form before this better. Uh, we have the starter. This is Zippo. This is Charmander Butterfree. Bugfire. This one is the team anchor. This one has gotten me through a lot of fights so far. Pretty strong. Has a utility psychic move. A bunch of fire and bug. Lo it loses the wings in this form, but it's an angry little guy. I, I like Zippo. I do know what an alt sprite for the f evolved form with Charizard. It's going to look pretty cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Iconic says, be right back. Dinner's ready. Oh, no worries. Enjoy your dinner. You'll see the rest of the team as we kind of proceed through the fights here. So it's all good. Okay, Sailor Man. You are going to probably have a water type. Let's see. We took our grass type out. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, we have a save reminder from Lava King. Good idea. That redeem is going to come in handy on this playthrough. Seas, regular water type. Keep Pennywise in. Psychic. This 
might be the first person who's seen a bit that's got unfused Pokemon. Zooter. Zubat. And something else. Hmm. Shelter. Oh, okay. Poison water? King says, I'm gonna say it's Mega Evolution was a mistake. Which one's Mega Evolution? Of the ones here? Hopefully not Beedrill. I think Beedrill's Mega Evolution is awesome. One of the coolest bug types in the game. As far as aesthetics go, I, I know it's not a super powerful meta meta Pokemon, but it looks neat. Oh yeah, you don't ice. Oh, the concept of Mega Loop Evolution itself? Uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a gimmick. I haven't played a ton of games that had it. And so like from the competitive aspect, I can't really say whether or not Mega Evolution was like a, a big game changer. I'm gonna assume it was. Okay, I don't wanna put a dragon type in there. But it, it yields some really cool forms. I'll give them that. Uh Responding to something important on Discord. That's why you're hearing frantic clacking and typing. Don't worry about that. Let's focus on me getting smoked by angry Pokemon fusions. That that was rough. Lava King says it was Gen 6 exclusive for Mega Evolution. That was X and no, not X and Y. Sun and Moon? I am... I'm not really that well-versed in Pokemon. That's why I'm playing this game. To learn, to learn more. Okay. I think I did play the game that they introduced Mega Evolution. XY. XY. Okay. Back. That was the last... Why was the last one I think I played and actually beat the game? Sun and Moon I played, but I didn't get that far. I got kind of bored. I think the problem is... The base Pokemon formula to me is not super compelling. Which is why I don't play a lot of the games. But for something like this, where you have a lot of creative tools at your com command, and it really switches formula up, that's what I like. It's probably why I'm enjoying this one so much. It's very interesting. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, I think 
we're in here. Figures, I, I didn't really stop to consider taking a grass type out. How much that would suck since there's a lot of water types here. Oh well. It's okay. Just means we're going to have to make do. King says, Z moves were fine, but when a gimmick feels it was specifically made for, for some rather than others. And Lava King says, get a Caesar, get steel, and merge it with a uh, champ. I will definitely be attempting to get Caesar. That's a really cool bug type. Caesar and Scyther will definitely be on the team in some capacity. It's, I just think it might be a while before we get there. Especially now that I've randomized the spawns. I don't know if you were here when I did that, Lava King. But I went in and, and actually shuffled the wild spawns. Now it's random infusions everywhere. Just to give myself a bit more of a chance to find bug types in the wild now. So really it's kind of all bets are off as far as what we're going to run into. But I think that'll make it more fun. It'll be more interesting. That's how I was able to get the dragon dragon type on one of my, my team. I'll, I'll swap that one in after I kill this horsey. It's largely going to come down to what typing I need to cover upcoming fights. That's how I've been doing it up till now. Because if I take a Caesar and fuse it with a Machamp, then that's going to be bug fighting most likely. It's, it's not going to retain steel. I can't do steel fighting. So I don't know if that's really going to help, unless I need a fighting type. Because Machamp is pure fighting, right? So if you fuse a Caesar and a Machamp, I think your only options are steel fighting or bug fighting. I can look. It'd be in the count the, uh, calculator. I bet it would look really cool, though. Yeah. Caesar, Machamp is steel fighting. And the opposite, Machamp head, Caesar body is Mazor, which is fighting bug. It looks pretty okay. It's a little bit goofy, kind of looks like King DDD on a Caesar's body. The other one looks really cool, but I can't use it. I can't use C Champ. So that, that idea is out. But it, I'm sure we could find some things to merge Caesar with to get some other, like, base bug. X types. Uh, another horse scene? Alright, let's bring in Chantrell. This is the newbie on the team. Should have kept the the grass moves. Oh well. This one is Bug Dragon. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Mm. Does use Twister, though. Which could be a problem since this is a dragon type, but it's fine. Horans. Horsey Ekans, I think. So psychic. Oh, that's a nice custom sprite. I'm going to say water poison. Yep. Again, looking at the strategy for the Vermilion City gym, I think my front runners are going to be Morel and Chantrell. 
The Mushroom Sisters. In fact, maybe I should put Morel in the lead. It's there for bug ground typing. Fisherman? Yep. It's Barney. Well, it's effective because the ground typing has... Uh... Hiyu. Something star you? Paris star you, maybe? That's gonna be bug water. Flying would be good for that if that's what I'm thinking. Yep. Oh, huh. that's not a bad custom sprite either. I like the eye in the middle. It's a nice touch. And it knows Psychic. Great. That could have been bad. Whacker. Confuses target, but raises attack. Uh, well, this doesn't do damage either. Eh. Shelter. Actually, my team is looking a little bit rough. Don't want to throw a water type in. A fire type in its water. Hopefully, we can just kill this quickly. Should be alright. This doesn't out level by a ton. That is annoying, though. Very annoying. Good, I thought it was going to hurt itself three times in a row, which would have really sucked. Okay. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. Poly Chop. That's a Poly Whirl and Machop. That's kind of a silly, goofy sprite. I like it. Uh, hmm. I don't really have something that works directly on this one. I can swap in for one of my psychic users and they'll be okay. Yeah. It's annoying. It should be water fighting. 
should be water fighting. Yeah. This one's high level though. I got lucky. Didn't get stuck with any paralysis. Okay. Alright, now we're going to bail and go heal. But with this, we're done the entire lower deck. Yeah. This also gears us up pretty well for the rival fight. Against Turbo Douche. That'll be near the top. By the time we get we clear the upper deck, everyone should be in their early twenties. Yeah. Prioritizing these two, the two mushrooms. We can we can push the session a little bit more and try and at least complete the ship. Let me go and fry some chicken real quick, and then we will proceed. I think we're, we're on, on track to at least get through that. Unless I hit some sort of major roadblock. I'll be back in one minute. Alright. Chicken fried. Let's jump back in. Here we can go up. I'll go left to right. Systematically clear out, clear all the rooms, and go to the top deck. The ship. We've got to get the captain's key from up there. Old man. Old man. Sea Chu. Uh, seal plus Pikachu. It's probably ice electric. Ice is strong against ground, right? I don't know if we have a really good move set to really deal with this. Oh, we could just stack Fury Cutter, I guess. That goes up the more we hit in succession, right? 
Yep. Wow, that actually does decent damage if used back to back. Huh. Yeah, that actually works pretty well. We could farm this, since it's only one fight. Iconic is back. Hey, welcome back, Iconic. How was your dinner? Hopefully it was delicious. We are working our way through the SSN fighting whole mix of trainers, trying to get some experience for our team for the Vermilion City Gym. And also get money. We don't get money for doing re rematch battles. We do get the experience, which is nice. Uh, let's see. How injured? Nah, not that injured. See if we can do one more without not dying. physical attack. It does do decent damage, though. I'm thinking we drop Poison Powder just because Thunder Wave and Paralysis, I think, is a bit more functional, even though we're not getting damage. We can basically do Control instead. So let's do that. Okay, cash money. Keep moving. I do like the idea that there's this kid running through this luxury cruise line and just barging into people's rooms and challenging them to a fight. Very on brand. Growl poke. Okay. I'm assuming that's fire psychic. Ow. That's not good. No water. Really, really could use water. Whatever happens with that egg once that slot frees up and it's the spot down here, I think I'm going to put a bug water in there in some capacity. It is becoming very apparent that I'm running into a lot of things that are water weak and I have no way to fight them. And fire types absolutely murder my team because of bug. So we need to, we need to remedy that at some point. fighting. Yep. Fighting type. Volta. Voltor plus 
something. Oh, Ponyta. That's a pretty cool, unique sprite. I like the way that one looks. I bet that one looks pretty cool when it evolves. Assuming it's got a custom evolution sprite too. Now, for Chantrell, because Chantrell has Dragon Subtype, this one loses its fire weakness, which is probably the best like, option for like, a fire fight on the team. Which is why I need to get Chantrell more experience. I think she's got the potential to anchor the team pretty well. She's squishy. Brick break. Okay. That's useful. Iconic says the lightning mane is so cool. Yeah, it's a neat touch. So Iconic, I don't know if you overheard me earlier in the stream talking about the upcoming drawing stream of this week. Which is going to be... It should be Wednesday, according to the schedule I posted. Which I never remember what days. I think I staggered it to be Monday, Wednesday, instead of Tuesday, Thursday this week. But we're going to be spending the stream on Wednesday drawing Sprites for Infinite Fusion. Uh, what I was talking about earlier on was the fact that I want to apply to be a, an official spriter in the community discord for this game. But you have to submit an application of three fusion sprites based on ones that are in the game. And they have to use the existing assets in some capacity. So I'm going to be working on drawing some fusions for that. That's going to be the drawing stream on Wednesday. So that should be interesting. I've got some ideas for things I want to do. It's primarily going to be driven on based on my playthrough here, because I'd like to get some, some sprites in the game for my team. But we'll see. It, it's going to take a while. Even if I get my application in, you have to go through rounds of review and feedback before you're approved, and you can post stuff to the, the main gallery. And so you, you might not see any of my work in there if I get in for a bit. But I'll be sure to keep everyone updated as, as it goes, and I'm probably going to be playing this for a while, so there's a good chance at some point I'll be able to see my own work in the game, which would be pretty cool. So that is the goal for Wednesday. Okay, this guy just fought. Uh, oh, interesting. Well, I'm not trading any of my current team. But this guy's looking for rare. It's good to know. Iconic says, I believe in you, bud. Oh, thanks, Iconic. I think it'll be fine. It's just going to take some work. The Pokemon style for the sprite design is not a style I'm used to working in. So I've got to kind of adapt to the format of the games and draw in that style because that's what's required in order to have a sprite be approved for this game. I've actually done a couple so far. I have to go back and fix one of them and then reformat it for the the actual application. So you, you folks will see that one. It was for one of my, my, my team earlier in the run. It was for Portobello. But I want to rework that one to use the existing sprite work assets as a base, since that's the requirement for the application. So you'll see the, you'll see what I did on Wednesday, and then hopefully we'll turn it into something functional. This is Shelmer. This is 
Shelter and Grimer. Just don't use ice. It's fine. Stacking up cash finally. A lot of water types. I was mentioning earlier how I swapped out one of my fusions. I split up the Paris or Sunkern Paris one that I was using for, uh, which one was it? It was for Chantrell. So I lost my, my grass type, which is starting to get annoying. Specifically, I did that for the electric gym, so I can always change it back later if I want to. But I'm thinking putting like an electric type and a water type on the team is probably going to be useful. Which gym is after Vermilion? Is it Celadon after Vermilion? Or is it Saffron is later, right? Is there even a gym in Saffron? I haven't played these older games in so long, I don't remember the order. But what type am I going to need after Surge? Erica is next? She's the psychic one, right? She's psychic. Volt cool. Oh, grass. Grass. Got it. Thanks, Lava King. I've it's been forever, so basically I could probably sweep that with my starter. Bug will be good there. You're right. Uh, let's see. Volt cool. Hmm. Morale's gone. Sabrina's psychic, that's right. That's not a bad custom sprite. I think that's a custom sprite. It's very simple. It's a little, little round boy. Some of the later tentacruel fusions look really neat. I don't know how functional they're going to be, but they look really cool. Mm. Uh-oh. That's no good. Definitely could have gone better. Uh, hmm. The team's looking a little bit tired. Let's see if we can clear the remaining fights here on the, the top deck of the ship. Oh, it's just you. Okay. Very annoying. You get out of here. Goal Carp. Goldeen Magic Carp, I'm gonna assume. Ooh, I got Pokemon. In theory, this should be pretty easy. Ah, that's fine. The Magic Carp base fusions with a lot of things also look really cool. Functionally, Probably not that good. 
Case in point, though, they are interesting. Look at that. That's a Magikarp Tentacool. It is also having an existential crisis. The expression is just... <gasps> that water poison? Yep. Lava King says mix the Caesar with Gengar for Poison Bug. Caesar and Gengar is either going to be Bug Ghost or it might be Bug Poison. Let's find out. I'm not trying to torpedo your ideas, Lava King, but I can actually look up what the combinations are, which is how I figure out what looks cool. So we only option is Ghost Bug for that combination because Caesar Gengar is Steel Ghost, which is actually really cool. I have to remember that from my other playthrough. But uh, Gengar Caesar the reverse is Ghost Bug, and that one does look really cool. The hands for Caesar become like little grinning mouths, and they're separated from the body. So I would definitely fuse that. That's a really good one. Put a pin in that. Uh, I can also link, if you folks want to see, for folks who are interested in Infinite Fusion, if you go to this site that I'm linking in the chat, basically anything that's in the game now, you can run your searches and it'll show you what they look like and what the types are. Really cool. This is what I use to kind of pl plan out what I'm doing. It's a neat site. And also where, where I get the sprite assets to put and stuff. Prince says, I'm going to need that wall sound clip. Somebody clip it. Also, welcome, Prince. It's good to see you, man. It's been a while. Hope you are doing well. Things are going about as well as you'd expect. Deciding to go all bug types has proven to be considerably difficult. But I am still enjoying it. I'm just making my way through. I'm going to try and finish off the ship in today's session. First, I'm going to go heal. Lava King says, no muck, Yan Mega. That'd be a cool combination, too. You can... I'll check it, take a look at it later, but you can also run that through the calculator to see what it looks like. The Yanma and Yan Mega fusion are really neat. I did look at some of those. It's Yanma, and then it evolves, right? They look really neat. The dragonfly. Love King says, Raku fuse a Yan Mega with a muck. Looks like living, living Russian, radioactive Russian place like a Chernobyl. Let's, let's take a look. Well, the, the Muck Yan Mega, it, that's not a custom sprite. That's a, a randomly generated one. And actually, it doesn't look completely awful, but it looks a little rough in the way it puts it together. These are AI generated if they don't have an existing sprite, a custom. That's kind of weird. It's like a bug with a, a Muck face stapled on it. The reverse is the only one I could use. The bug poison one, the Yanuk. That's not bad. It's kind of kind of weird looking though. Not terrible. I need to keep a mental log of some of these potential forms I can use later, because when we work on drawing these on stream Wednesday, then I might be able to prioritize some that look cool, you know. All right, seal. Lava King says, by churning its wings, it creates shockwaves and inflict critical injuries to foes. In the summertime, the toxic substances in its body intensify, making Yanuk reek like putrid kitchen garbage. Nice. Yeah, Yanuk, Yanuk is the one that I could use, potentially, Bug Poison. 
from what I've seen, the, a lot of the Scyther fusions look really cool. The Dragonfly ones look really cool. The Yanma and Yanmega. The Pinsir ones also look really cool. Heracross has really neat fusions. I really would like to get a Heracross or a few. But I don't know one point. I think I have to be in Johto in order to get Heracross. As soon as I have the means to get one, I will probably fuse up a couple on my team. Just because you can go like... It'll take bug type first. So on, on the head, it'll probably go like bug whatever. So yeah, that, that's definitely something I want to do. I was just looking using the cal calculator I linked. Looking at the possibilities for a bunch of those is pretty neat. Okay, this is the restaurant. There should be a couple fights we can do here. This is the scientist nerd guy we fought at Mount Moon. Alright, buddy. You want to run back? You want a salty run back? Koffmer. Coughing and Grimer. Also, an existential crisis. This is just pure poison. This one's probably going to get murdered by Psychic. This one is basically me on a Monday. But poison is super effective. I need to kill this thing fast. Lava King says, Raku merge a hair across with a pincer for a Hercules beetle. That sounds pretty cool. What does that one look like? Shouldn't have closed my browser. Heracross, Pinsir. Are you talking about Pincross? Harasur doesn't look bad. That's a, a custom sprite. The Hercules Beetle, I'm assuming you're talking about Pincross, the reverse of that. Pinsir head, Heracross body. Both those are pretty cool. There's also a an alt for Harasur, which is a pretty funny name, actually. Bug fighting. All he says, I meant, uh... Her yeah, Harasur? I like the... Yeah, I like that one. There are some really, like gnarly looking kind of cursed fusions with pincer because of its mouth like if you look up uh, if you look on the, cal the calculator and let's say I I'm not going to demonstrate it on stream but if you go to the calculator and you just go to the regular Pokemon like let's say you just search and head component for pincer it'll pull up the, the base Pokemon and then everything that it's a part of, both head or body, and you can just scroll through all the combinations that use Pinsir, both head and body permutations, and like you can see some gnarly, gnarly ones like Pinzard, Pinizard, Pinsir head, Charizard body is like a bipedal, fiery, gaping dragon from Dark Souls, or Pintoise, Pinsir Pinsir head, Blastoise body, it's like a big Blastoise with a pincer mouth and then a ton of like Langolier style mouths on the shell instead. It's it's nutty. Like pincer's got some really cool looking fusions. You just scroll through the list using the calculator. Uh, Ammonite. Rock water. Yeah. Blast sir. That came up in the list I, I just pulled up. Pintoise and Blastzer. Pretty nutty. The Blastzer one looks kind of like a kaiju. Very cool.
Out of here. So we can get the root fossil or the claw fossil. Root fossil is crud, crud, crudily. Crudily? Is that it? That one is rock grass. Uh, and then the other one is anorith, right? Yeah. Anorith is bug water. I have. I think I have to take anorith. Oh no, bug rock. My bad. Uh, yeah, it's still bug type. That is a type I don't, or a bug I don't have. So yeah, we'll take the claw fossil. When we eventually get back to pewter, we can resurrect our fossils. Probably do that one first. Okay, let's go heal. We head around the corner of the captain's cabin. We're going to hit rival fight. First time I did this on my other playthrough, the ghost run, I went straight through that series of fights into rival fight and I almost died. So let's not do that. Maybe at some point, if you folks are really that, that curious to see, maybe not today, but if you want me to load up the file from my offline run, maybe I can show you guys that some other time not play through it on stream but just show you what I'm making this particular playthrough unless I need to grind I'm not really going to play offline so we can see the progression in real time but my offline playthrough is an all ghost all ghost run which is almost equally challenging but there's some cool stuff in that playthrough too okay so I think he's going to lead with that Nidorino Pidgey so I don't know. I'm, I'm going to lead with Zippo, I guess. Flying and fire types just wreak havoc with my team. It's Turbo Douche. There it is, Nidoto. That's a pretty cool looking sprite. I'm pretty sure that's a custom. We're gonna get Psy Beamed. Annoying. I think in my, my offline playthrough I named Rival Buttface. Because I don't want to call him Gary. That's no fun. Spore. What spore? Sleep? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Keep Thunder Wave for control. Starbra. Star you. Abra, I think. So for that, we will take. Anyone with bug type moves. But not someone that's water I, or ground. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, alright, Pennywise it is. See, that's a pretty cool custom sprite. It's very subtle. Like, the main difference is the, the head is shaped like a star, and it's got the jewel. I don't... I think that's a unique one, not a custom... Uh, not AI-generated one. But... Yep. Doesn't like bug attacks, that's for sure. Warsar. Warsar. Sour. Warsar. War Turtle Venusaur? So that's gonna be Water Grass, I'm gonna assume. Or Ivysaur, maybe? 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna assume that's water grass. Today. Light screen. Defensive move. Suppress special attacks. Yeah, I think I'm gonna drop rage. This one, this particular Pokemon is special moves primarily, not regular normal ones. Regular attack. I don't think Rage is that useful. Reflect. Physical attacks. Now nah, we'll keep, keep specials. And then Manicate. This one is Mankey Radicate, I think. Psychic should work. Oh, that's not a bad sprite. Just a slightly more rotund angry pig rat. Uh oh. That ain't good. Zippo. Yeah, that'll work. Hey. Name. Ooh, this one was Hyper Fang, too. That's a potential problem. down. Alright, so that was a little bit close. I think that's the last one, though. Huh? Yeah, get out of here, Turbo Douche. Now, how did he get in without a, a key? Back rubbed his sea sickness away. Okay, so we got HM01. That is the big thing to get here, cut. But who should I give cut to? I should give it to someone that needs a good base physical attack. Someone that's going to probably stay in my party for a while. Hmm. Let's see, Rock Smash. I don't know if we're going to need Rock Smash in any of the dungeons upcoming, but if we do, we can always swap in someone else to put that there. This move doesn't really need to stay on this particular Pokemon. So for now, just to give this one more attacks, I could put, put it there. Well, let's see what else we got. Chantrell has all the these. Slams 80, 75%. Cuts 50 at 95. Yeah, it's more reliable. No, I don't do that either. I 
And for Monkey, Monkey's got a lot of fighting attacks. Nah. Alright, we'll put it on here. Get rid of Rock Smash for now. And I don't know where the music went. There it goes. Okay, so we've cleared the ship. Everything on there, I believe, is done. We could try and take on Surge. I don't remember how strong his teams are. I think mid-20s? We can give it a try just to close out the, the gym in this session. And if I need to grind, then I can always do that off-stream. First, we gotta defeat the, the trainers. That shouldn't take long. Tucker. Magnet Shop. That's a pretty cool sprite. I like the colors. That one should be steel fighting. Says, oh yeah, floating magnet fist, very cool. Yeah, that would look really neat animated. This is whipping magnets. Like I said, the sprite work for the custom sprites in this game, in general, is very well done. It's cool seeing all the neat things people have made. Like even this one, I'm pretty sure that's a custom sprite. It's very simple, but effective. Just little little red and red and white angry plant ball. Uh, so that's gonna be electric grass, I'm gonna assume. Hmm, no, it might be electric poison? Electric poison. Volt sprout. So, electric grass? Yeah, look at that one. That's definitely a custom sprite. Voltorb has like the the head, and then the body looks like wires with the, the feet being like frayed wires instead of roots. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, magnitude 10. It's a lot of damage. hidden somewhere. Let's take out this guy before we go back and heal. Pika eel. That's a Pikachu seal. I'm going to assume that's electric water? Or ice? Is seal ice or is it ice water? If it's ice, we could use Fire Fang. No, I think it's water. Bins. I believe it's random. I 
There it is. Alright, I'm gonna go heal. Then we'll go take on Surge. here. Now we'll see if the, the team is strong enough to take on Surge. I do not remember his lineup or if it's even the same. Three Pokemon, okay. Well, we're going to do... Morel, Chantrell, and Zippo as anchor. Now let's fight Guile from Street Fighter. Volt B. That's a Voltorb Krabby. Let's see if Magnitude works. Yep. Nice. Okay. Lava King says, I remember beating this guy during the old Twitch plays Pokemon. Oh, that was a long time ago. I remember that. That was a really interesting thing to watch. Interesting experiment. Okay, we'll leave Morel in. super effective. That's good. This team looks like it's going to be around 24. With his anchor being 25. My guess is. Spore. Yeah, I don't need Spore. Love King says it was an old profile. Now lost, but I remember it. It does seem like that was a long time ago. Okay, Rybuzz. Uh, Raichu Electabuzz, I'm going to assume. I don't think Morel is strong enough to sweep completely. Well, we'll see. This thing doesn't kill it outright. That's a cool sprite. I think it's a custom. Uh, no, that's not going to be enough to kill. Oh, no, never mind. He would have healed if it was down to, like, the last sliver. Wow, Morel swept the entire gym. And it's evolving. All right. This is Sand Slash's evolution. Okay. Paris. Or pass slash. That's not bad. I think this is a an, an algorithm generated one. You can usually tell because the anti aliasing when it it drops like the hands and or the head in places looks a little bit weird. But that's not bad. Crush claw. Okay, high high damage. Physical attack. Hmm. That is going to be more functional than Cut. So I might need to move Cut in onto somebody else. That's fine. It doesn't need to stay here. Because I do want this one to have some, some good high damage abilities. Spore. I don't need Spore. Thunder wave, yep.
Okay, that covers us up to 35. No. Oh. Probably should have waited until I got out. Never. Okay. Well, I gotta put I gotta put cut back somewhere. Uh, who has something they could just dump? I could put it on here and give. This particular fusion, just a functional attack to use. Yeah, let's do that. I think I'm going to dump Mimic for now. I never use it. And we'll keep the cut. This is a utility move. Fossil Reviving Machine. Okay. Teleport. Okay, we'll probably throw that on somebody. How close is egg to hatching? Soon. Okay. Maybe I'll do that by the time we stream next time. Just to, one, see what pops out, and two, to clear that, that slot so I can put something else there. Pretty good. We got through Vermilion, so now we're going to move on in the next session. If we take stock of where we're at, team didn't change dramatically, but we still have Zippo as main team anchor, Bug Fire. Was it 25 for Charizard's evolution? That's got to be getting close, but Zippo's been doing well. He's kind of my ace in the hole for a lot of these fights. We just got the evolution for Morel, which doesn't really look like a mushroom anymore, but that's okay. When it evolves into Parasect, it will. So this is Bug Ground. Swept the entirety of the Vermilion Gym, which I did not expect, but that's pretty cool. Pennywise, or Bug Fairy. For some reason, I keep thinking this, thinking this one's Bug Psychic, but it's not. Pretty good offensive attacker has also come come on clutch for a bunch of fights we have monkey probably getting close to primate's evolution monkey is doing fine too i think it's lowest level now but maybe we can switch it in we'll see and eggs should hatch soon and then we got chanterelle chanterelle didn't even need to do anything in the vermilion gym but this is Bug Dragon, so I'm sure we'll be able to use that in general for fights as we move to the next few areas. Oh, I'm gonna do my shopping before I completely wrap up. Splicers. Definitely gonna need more fusion balls. We'll get some grates too. Uh, probably good on healing for now. Grab some repels. still have a, a tidy chunk of cash for the next zone. That's good. Alright. So with that, we will call it a session for today. I didn't think we'd get all the way through the Vermilion Gym, but we did. So that's good. I will probably not grind for the next session. We'll see. I don't think it's really necessary now. I think we can just proceed to the next spot and then see how we're leveled for, I guess it's gonna be Celadon's next. 
So let me see who is online that we can raid. And we will wrap up for today. There are not really a lot of my peers online today, which is kind of interesting. Normally, at least someone is streaming now. People might be jumping on a little bit later tonight. So we won't worry too much about the raid. Um, iconic, unless you have like a VTuber or a fellow streamer that's online now that you know is cool. If you have someone that you know and want to give me their information, then we can raid them. I have no problem raiding someone new. Uh, they're cool. Well, I'll give you a second if you can, if you know of anybody right off the bat before we wrap up. Okay, not the moment. Oh, no worries. Just wanted to, to check since sometimes people have other friends they know are online that I haven't met yet. But we'll go ahead and mute game audio. We'll go to outro. We'll be back on Wednesday. Pretty sure it's Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday at 4.30 Pacific. Unless I can start earlier due to work. We'll be doing sprite drawing for Pokemon Fusion specifically. So that should be fun. I'm looking forward to, to jumping in and working on stuff that hopefully will make it into the game at some point. So once again, thanks to everybody who came and hung out today. It's a lot of fun trucking on through, so hope you all have a good rest of your evening, and I will catch you later.